Onions are a cool seasoned vegetable that are grown mainly for the flavor they add to other foods. Onions begin to form bulbs based on the day length. Onions can be started from either seeds, sets, or transplants. Onion seeds are both uh, white and yellow varieties can be sown indoors in flats in the winter or early spring depending on where you live. In most areas you will need to start your seedlings indoors. Also, seeds can be sown directly into the garden covered with about a fourth inch of soil and should sprout between 7 to 10 days. If planted thickly, plants can be pulled and utilized as green onions or scallions for salads or eating fresh in about 8 to 10 weeks. However, most gardeners will want to grow onion bulbs as large as possible. To do this, onions must be thinned until they are at least 2 to 3 inches apart to ensure adequate bulb expansion. The removed plants can be then used for scallions or you can transplant these into other areas of the garden so that they will too have adequate space to enlarge into large bulbs. In my opinion, onion seeds would be the least recommended way to start onions. The other option you have is onion sets. Growing onions from onion sets is probably an easier way to produce crop of quality onions. In most cases, you will be able to achieve better success this way when compared to growing onions from seeds. Sets are small, dry onion bulbs that have been grown the previous year. They are the easiest for many gardeners to grow. Buy a bag of sets, push them into damp soil just until the top is showing and the onion quickly starts growing. They are frequently sold only as yellow, white, or red onions without a variety name. So uh, if you want to know what varieties you're growing, uh, do not use onion sets. Um, round onions will produce a flattened onion, and a tear-shaped or elongated set will produce a round onion. Larger sets are best used as green onions, while the smaller sets are left in the ground to form bulbs. And then there's the last option for growing onions, onion plants. The way I usually grow onions and how I would recommend growing onions for the first time. For large, firm bulbs, plants are best. They were produced from seed in the same year they are sold. Plants are available from seed catalogs, garden centers, or your local hardware stores. Plant onions, your onion plants, transplants, four to six weeks before the last estimated spring freeze. Generally, plants come in a bundle. Plant the onions one inch, one inch deep and no deeper, as this will inhibit their ability to bulb. When you receive your onion transplants, uh, they are alive and should be planted as soon as possible. If you are unable to plant these right away, remove the onion plants from the box and spread them out in a cool, dry area. The roots and tops may begin to dry out, but do not be alarmed as the onions are a member of the lily family and as such will live for approximately three weeks off the bulb. The first thing that the onion will do after planting will shoot new roots. The next most important thing in planting onions is choosing the right onion to plant based on your location. There are three different types of onions, short day onions, day neutral onions, also known as intermediate onions, and long day onions. First, the short day onions form bulbs with 10 to 12 hours of daylight. They need a mild winter climate, uh, usually a zone 7 or warmer. Planted in fall, mature in the late spring, and can be grown in the north, but the bulbs do not get as large. And then we have the intermediate or day neutral onions. These form uh, bulbs with 12 to 14 hours of daylight. They produce nice bulbs in all regions except South Florida or South Texas. These uh, intermediate onions are ideal for zones 5 through 6. Planted in fall in mild winter climates and in early spring in northern regions. Then lastly you have the long day onions which form bulbs with 14 to 16 hours of daylight. These are typically grown in the northern regions, zone 6 and colder. Day length is, most, is the most important factor 
in selecting your onion varieties. Long day onions grow north of the line approximately from Washington DC to San Francisco. Short day onions south of the line and intermediate day length for several miles on either side of this line. Flavor and pungency are often factors in selecting varieties. Sweet white onions are generally long day varieties while the best strong flavored yellow onions are intermediate or short day onions. As far as planting goes, select a location with full sun where your onions won't be shaded by other plants. The soil needs to be well drained, loose and rich in nitrogen and compact soil will affect your bulb development. You want nice, loose, rich soil. Till in aged manure, compost or fertilizer in the fall before planting. Onions are heavy feeders and need constant nourishment to pro produce the biggest bulbs. At the time of planting you can mix in some fertilizer too and side dress every few weeks until the bulbing process begins. Are you planting seeds? Onion seeds are short lived. If planting seeds indoors start with fresh seeds each year. Start seeds indoors about six weeks before transplanting. Transplants should be set out four to six weeks prior to the date of last average freeze. Plant onions as soon as the ground can be worked in the spring. Make sure the temperature doesn't go below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. For sets or transplants, plant one each deep with uh, about four to five inches between each plant. Also, I plant them in rows, usually about 12 to 18 inches apart. Should you want to harvest some of the onions during the growing season as green onions, you may plant the plants as close as two inches apart and pull every other one prior to them beginning to bulb, leaving some for larger onions. Reminder, do not plant them too deep or they will not make as large of a bulb. If you have leftover onions, plants from your bundle, you can plant them in a pot or plant them in the ground together like I usually do and grow them all season long and harvest them for green onions. Onion fertilization and growing tips. Onions require a high source of nitrogen. For organic growing like we do, we use a rich compost high in nitrogen. The conventional non-organic way would be to use a nitrogen-based ammonium sulfate or ammonium nitrate fertilizer and this should be applied at the rate of one cup per 20 feet of row. There is no such thing as an organic all nitrogen fertilizer. The first fertilizer application should be applied about three weeks after planting and then continue with applications every two to three weeks. Once the necks start feeling soft and do not apply any more fertilizer this should occur approximately four weeks prior to harvest. Always water immediately after feeding and maintain moisture during the growing season. The closer to harvest, the more water the onion row will require. For weed control, unfortunately, there is not any product available to assist in weed control. So the only method will be cultivation. That's right. Get on your hands and knees and pull up the weeds. While cultivating, be careful not to damage the onion bulbs. As the onions begin to bulb, the soil around the bulb will should loosen so the soil is free to expand. Do not move dirt on top of the onions since this will prevent the onion from forming its natural bulb. So don't be alarmed if the, you start seeing the onion protruding from the ground as the bulb expands and enlarges. Flowering, also known as bolting. Most folks want to grow onion bulbs, not onion flowers. What causes bulb onions to send up flower stalks? Flowering of onions can be caused by several things, but usually the most common is temperature fluctuation. If the onion is exposed to warm temperatures, then cold, and then warm again, it will bolt. An onion is classed as a biennial, which means it normally takes two years to go from seed to seed. Temperature is controlling or triggering factors in this process. If an onion plant is exposed to alternating cold and warm temperatures, resulting in onion plant going dormant, resuming growth, going dormant again, and then resuming growth again back and forth, the onion bulb will prematurely flower or bolt. 
the onion is deceived into believing it has completed two growth cycles or two years of growth in this biennial life cycle as it finalizes the cycle by blooming. Flowering can be controlled by planting the right variety at the right time. Use only transplants that are pencil sized or smaller in diameter when planting in early spring or always plant seed. Onion sets are the most likely to bolt because they were produced the previous year. What can you do about flowering onions? If you can see a flower stalk appear, should you remove the flower stalk from the onion plant? Probably not. It's not going to do any difference for you. Suit yourself, but once the onion plant has bolted or sent up a flower stalk, there is nothing you can do to eliminate this problem. The onion bulb will be edible but smaller. Make sure to use these onions as soon as possible because the green flower stalk which emerges through the center of the onion bulb will make storage almost impossible. Once again, use these onions first. Harvest them, use them first. As far as harvesting and storage goes, onions are fully mature when their tops have fallen over. After pulling from the ground, allow the onions to dry, clip the roots, cut back the tops about one inch. The key to preserving onions and to prevent bruising is to keep them in a cool, dry, and separated. Remember to use onions that are bolted or flowered first. They will not last very long in storage. As a general rule, the sweeter the onion, the higher the water content and therefore the less shelf life. The more pungent onions will store longer, so eat the sweet varieties first and save the more pungent onions for storage. So happy gardening and good luck on growing onions.